This month's coding challenge is all about using logic to create a quiz that you can use to prepare you or your friends for your next test. When I start a new project or have an idea, I like to start by writing things out on paper. I want to use logic and programming principles to create a quiz that's short but accurate. I want my quiz to have levels. The higher the level, the more difficult the question. I don't want to waste unnecessary studying time answering level 1 or level 2 questions when I'm ready for level 3 questions. Let's quickly map out the logic I want my quiz to follow. If I get several questions correct in level 1, I'd like to automatically move on to level 2. If I also do well on those questions, I'd like to automatically move to level 3 without having to answer the remaining questions from the previous levels. If I'm not answering the questions as consistently, I want to be forced to complete each level fully before moving on to the next. But if I do well in level 2 questions, I can move right on to level 3. Using what we already know about coding, let's go ahead and write our very first if statement for the first scenario in this quiz. There are several ways we could include this logic in our project, but for simplicity's sake, I want this check to happen on question two. Question one would be too early, and question three would be too late. We could certainly code this quiz ourselves. However, in order to stay focused on the logic behind our program, we're going to use Google Forms. Now that we've talked about the logic of our quiz, let's go ahead and use Google Forms to create it. We want to give our quiz a title, and we also want to create sections, so that way we can use the correct answers to take us to different sections. Each section will have just one question contained in it. In my case, because I'm doing an art quiz, they're going to be about art, but you can make yours about anything that you're studying in school. It is best to use multiple choice questions or checkbox questions for this particular project that we're doing so that we can use some logic to decide which question will come up next for our test taker. Once you finish adding your level 1 questions in, we can go ahead and start adding our logic. All you have to do is go to each question and click to edit, and then in the lower right hand corner you'll see three dots. When you click on that, you're able to tell your quiz to go to a certain section based on an answer. For the first question in level one, we want it to take us to question two, regardless of whether the answer is correct or not. In question two, if the test taker gets the answer correct, we want to move them up to level two. You can see in this example that we have not created level two yet, so we're going to go ahead and do that now. If you create these levels out of order, all you have to do is click on the three dots beside the name and you can change the order however you like. Now that we have our level two section, let's go ahead and make question two lead there if it's correct. If the test taker picks the wrong answer for question two, we want it to just proceed to the next section which is question three of level one. We don't need to add separate scenarios for question three because any test taker who makes it there would just proceed on to level two after. Now it's time to add in content for our level two questions. Once we have content, we can go ahead and add the logic in for this level of questions as well. The first question of level two should automatically go to question two of level two, regardless of the answer. But for question two of level two, we wanna make sure that the right answer then takes us to our level three questions. And just like in level one, question three just proceeds to the next level. Now we'll go ahead and add in content for our level three questions before we check our quiz and make sure it's working properly. To view your quiz, click on the eye icon in the upper right hand corner. Check your logic to make sure your quiz is working exactly how you want. 
When I choose the correct answer in question two of each level, it brings me to the next section. We can also go a step farther by going into settings and turning this form into a quiz. I'm going to turn on manual, but you could leave it on automatic as well. You'll need to click on each question and fill in the answer key information. You can give each question a point value and make sure to select the correct answer. Once you complete the answer key information for all the questions in your quiz, we can go ahead and do another test run of the quiz or send it to a friend for them to test. Once the quiz is submitted, we can go back to our dashboard and look at our responses. We can also release the scores, which will send an email to our test taker. When the test taker clicks view, they're able to see an overview of the questions they got correct, incorrect, and even the ones they weren't asked to complete. The correct answers are highlighted for each question, making it a great study tool to continue your learning. Try it out for yourself before your next test.